Hi, and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to go over pound US dollar. Really like the opportunities here for some downside. So, just going to break this market down and uh, we'll see what we kind of expect to, to, to kind of see of this market. So, you know, looking at pound US dollar. Um, we've recently come up into these highs around about the one sort of 34 um, area and the market has rejected forming this really nice bearish close just through here. Um, expected some downside to come from that obviously in the Forex market um, outlook we even spoke about the fact that it could pull back down into these um, daily highs where we then could see a bit of a double top form or something like that. Uh, instead prices just continue to the downside. Lots of Brexit negotiations going on at the moment, lots of Brexit talk and chatter, which is what's causing this bearish move um, to the downside. And we can see here on the weekly time frame, we were in that overbought condition on the RSI. The market's pushing to the downside. So where could price end up? And I really do like the idea of pound uh, coming back into these highs just through here. Oh, hang on a minute, just have to delete that and redo that. Um, coming back down into these previous highs. So around about the 128 area is where I'm expecting pound to head to now. So we're just hovering above 129 at the moment. Um, so I'm looking for that downside to continue into these highs. So if you look at the daily time frame, we've had a change in trend on the daily time frame because price has broken through and give us two consecutive closes below this low. That allows me to then look for short opportunities to continue. Now there's one or two ways that could happen. Price could then rally up into a resistance level and then look to move to back to the downside or price could just fall straight towards that. At the moment, pound is very weak. So we're seeing that move continue to the downside currently. Looking at the four hour time frame, so I like to identify then the four hour trend and see where we could be expecting the market to go to. Now, because the pound is so weak, we've had a very shallow retracement. So you can see here the two retracements that we've had so far have been very, very shallow, which just shows us how weak this market is. And there's a, a little bit of a kind of area that I like the look of just through here now. Um, around about the sort of 129.70, there's a little bit of a shelf there where the market has kind of formed a double top and broken through. So what I'm expecting really out of this market is a potential for the market to pull back into this area and continue down. Or we're going to see kind of one or two things happen. Uh, a break of these lows through here, the market's going to hit our zone, come back up, we could get on a short trade here and then look for the move to the downside there. Or you could even look for just a, a strategy move, which for me would be on this sort of 15 minute time frame looking for the changes in cyclicity and you can see here the market came up broke to the downside closed below so that would have been a really good trading opportunity for me stop losses above the highs looking for that market to drop to the downside and again you could look at that similar tomorrow you know if the market continues to give us this bearish move have a look to see if we get a nice break and retest so what i'd be looking for here is even a break and retest of these 15 minute lows retest and a continue to the downside so two different kind of ways you could look at trading pound um, but to me this is looking very bearish we're looking for that downside to continue towards that 128 area um, and expect that bearishness to can continue and follow through uh, for a while so keep an eye on this um, if you have any opportunities on this look for the short trade and i'll speak to you in the next video